It's almost turkey time. I'm your host, Sophie Offerman, and welcome to the Stanford Daily. On Thursday was the renaming ceremony of Sarah Mall to Jane Stanford Way. This marks the final in a series of renamed campus features, two buildings, one of which was a student dorm with the name of Father Junipero Serra. The Native American community started the call for this renaming initiative due to Sarah's history of abuse toward Native people. President Mark Tessier Levine, Provost Persis Drell, and co-chair of the Stanford American Indian Organization, Kaylin Marum, spoke about how this event plays into Stanford's mission for inclusivity, the legacy of Jane Stanford, and what the renaming means for Native people today. While renaming has been a step forward, there are so many histories, languages, cultures, and people who have been dismissed and abused by the continuous colonization of California. To heal as a society and campus, we must dedicate ourselves to uplifting those voices and the voices of the diverse intersectional folks and communities all around us. On Tuesday, Susan Rice discussed her book, Tough Love, My Story of the Things Worth Fighting For, which is about the remarkable moments from her career as National Security Advisor to President Barack Obama and as U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations. So, uh, I actually read the book. Thank you. Okay? <laughs> and as a good student, My I want to... My friend and classmate actually read the book. <laughs> also on Thursday, there was a panel discussion on the crisis in Hong Kong and its future, featuring political cartoonist Zunzi, political commentator Song Po, and student activist Wing Tong Ho. They discussed the crisis in Hong Kong and future steps. On Thursday, activist, poet, and professor Jamaica Haleo Limolei Kalani Osorio held a conversation with students to discuss Hawaiian activism, including the protests over the Mauna Kea telescope. And so much of this movement is about messaging. And to me, in order to have good messaging and understanding this movement, we have to understand where we came from. Um, we need to be able to articulate why it is so important that we not build anything, whether it's a telescope or a school or a prison or like, you know, anything on that mountain. Osorio is a Kanaka Maoli Wahine poet, and part of her conversation included spoken word poetry. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and be sure to click that little bell icon to turn on post notifications. Catch you next time!